I was like, okay, I'm in KitKat, I need to, to explore it, like, to the fullest, you know? Welcome back to Couple to Couples. I'm Delphine. I'm Juan. And today we're going to be telling you about the first time ever that we went to KitKat, the sex club in Berlin. So yeah, uh, we had been to Perceptual before and yeah, Del was really persistent, <laughs> uh, rubbing it on my face like, oh, we need to go to KitKat, we need to go to KitKat. <laughs> and yeah, one day I just like was brave enough and yeah, I, I accepted. We were getting ready, try on uh, the outfits, and so one tried on the outfit that he bought, but... <laughs> it was a fail. Yeah, and it, somehow at home, it didn't make sense anymore. Like, yeah. you just looked like in a disguise, and yeah. you looked a bit stupid with that fishnet thing. You, you just looked like ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we were wise enough not to keep it on, you know? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were like, well, if we don't get in, I mean, Fuck it, you know, I mean, mm. it's, it's better that you feel comfortable and don't look exactly. disguised than actually go there and looking like someone... Like a clown. Exactly, yeah, like yeah, a clown, no, exactly. So, no. so, I think you decided for like just like a pair of like really small... Uh, leather shorts. Leather shorts, yeah. yeah. And me, I was wearing, so it's like a transparent see-through bra that uh, is kind of like sporty and it's like a matching set with the underwear, mm. so it's like a whole see-through uh, bottom as well, with like a kind of like a wide elastic, so it looks really sporty the whole thing, but it's completely see-through, so you could see my pussy, you could see my, my nipples. It's still one of my favorite outfits. Is it comfortable? It's really comfortable, that outfit, yeah, because normally, you know, like when you have this body that they're like really like go inside of like your pussy and like to dance, like really not comfortable, but that outfit is like really the best. We were already, we had the outfits on, mm. we were in the mood, and then we're like, okay, let's go to KitKat now. So we arrived there, there was like quite like a big queue and I think the whole time in the queue we were just a bit getting stressed like are we gonna get in or not because we know that the door policy is like... Quite strict. It's kind of like the Berlin, the Berlin vibe. It's always when you queue in a club you always feel like fuck I might not get in. Exactly, no? it's part of the magic. Yes, Maybe. part of the yeah. charm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we finally arrive in front of the bouncers and immediately they let us in, so we were really happy. I think they just asked like which outfit we were wearing, and I think they looked convinced enough. Uh, I think they really saw that we wanted to to be there. We got in, and suddenly it was like, wow, every, everyone was completely in really nice outfits. Everyone was getting undressed. So the first uh, gap that you see is like the main the garderobe or like the cloak room mm -hmm. on the right side. That's one. But there's also another clock room on the left side. Mm -hmm. We left our clothes there. And yeah, I really like in KitKat that the clock room is free. It encourages you to remove as much clothes as possible. Yeah. So yeah, we are like, oh, that looks really nice because yeah, from outside it looks like shit, like any <laughs> Berlin club, mm -hmm. I would say. But inside it's amazing. So yeah, we start walking. Uh, we spot like on the left side, a bit far, a pool, a swimming pool, and we're like, wow, that. <laughs> looks promising. So yeah, we kept walking straight and uh, we saw yeah the toilet and then the main uh, dance floor. Wow, it, it is amazing. Like really nice sound system, people on fire and we were like, wow, what the hell is that, you know? Pole dance. Yes, yeah. Like, ah, yes that's mm -hmm. also really cool from that place. And, and also some stairs, a staircase and like, yeah, we were like, oh, we need to go there. You know? mm -hmm. So we went up and even more people were fucking. Like, it was kind of like a little mezzanine. Yes, so we were like, fuck, where can we sit? Because everyone was really busy, you know? <laughs> I think that's, there was a swing. I can't mm -hmm. remember yeah. that sort of Yeah. So yeah, we went there and we spotted this kind of like little space. So we sat there in the midst of like all the people fucking. 
uh, we were still like absorbing like everything was really amazing to watch and also from the mezzanine you could see the dance floor below so it was like the perfect spot to kind of like observe and then the guy that was sitting next to us started to talk to us I think he he was alone so I think he just wanted to have some uh, company and we told him that it was the first time that we went to KitKat so he got really excited because I think he was a regular and he was like ah yeah like I can show you around I can show you and I was asking him like oh, I've heard that there's like a basement and but we couldn't find it uh, because again when we entered we just went straight to the dance floor so I couldn't uh, see any uh, stairs to the basement so he was like ah oh, you know what follow me I'm gonna show you the whole club and like all the spaces you didn't see and the basement as well. I need to make a note on this part of the story because I was, I mean, he seemed really nice, but I was also super suspicious, you know, I was like, fuck, imagine this guy's gonna throw us in a dark room and can rape yeah, us, yeah. you know, something. I was always telling Del, 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 Del be careful, you know, like, be cautious, you know, yeah. I was always I mean, kind of like, yeah, cautious, <laughs> but no, he was really sweet. He was so nice, yeah, he was really nice. So he led us downstairs to the basement, which actually is, as soon as you enter the club, you either go um, right to the dance floor and the swimming pool, or on the left, that's when you have these stairs to go down to the basement that we missed, actually. Yeah. So we go down with him, and then I was like really like amazed. There was like a gynecologist kind of chair, or like a dentist chair, a lot of other kind of like beds, people mm. getting whipped, uh, like a professional dumb uh, have it with like, I don't know, like 10 different kind of floggers and whips and stuff with people lining up to be whipped. And then when I saw that, <laughs> I was like, I think I need to, to try it and get whipped. I was like, okay, I'm in KitKat. I need to, to explore it like to the fullest, you know? I decide, I tell Juan, okay, I think I need to get whipped. I need to experience this thing. So we kind of like, joined the queue to get whipped but I think the guy kind of noticed me I think he asked me like yeah uh, do you want to get whipped now like is it your partner with you mm. so I was like yeah I mean I'm ready for it like, <laughs> give it to me <laughs> so he was like ah where does your partner want to be uh, when I'm whipping you and so Juan decided to be uh, like in front of me basically he was in front of me I was here like that with my ass uh, towards the guy who was whipping me at the back, so it was amazing because like a I had train. exactly like a train. I had yeah. eye contact the whole time with Juan while I was getting whipped. So I think it was like a really nice shared experience. But also I could see from my angle the people looking at me. Like it was like a little show that I was doing almost. Oh. So that I really love because again I have that big exit side. So to see all these people watching me while I get, was getting whipped was like a big turn on. And I remember it started with like small whips that didn't hurt so much. And there was like a kind of like a code. So red if it was uh, too hard, or green if it could go harder. And I think at the beginning I was like really green, green, green. <laughs> then he used like these really painful uh, floggers. Then I was like, okay, like yeah. Now it's like red. It was getting yeah. a bit too intense. The one that is kind of like for a horse yeah, it's or something really like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. That, that looks painful. It was yeah. It was really painful. I was like, okay, I think that's my kind of like limit at that moment. What did you feel when you were watching me getting whipped? I liked it, of course. Again, I'm not so. I'm more like in the voyeur side. So for me, it was perfect. But I don't like so much attention. So all the focus was on us. Well, per in particular on mm -hmm. her, of course. But I was in front of her. So, but I, I kind of like let it go, and I was kind of like, okay, let's let's do it. And I completely kind of like uh, just like forgot that people were looking at us. So mm -hmm. it was pretty nice actually. I actually, seeing you so happy kind of like turned me on a lot. So yeah, uh, he finishes his performance, uh, start talking to us. He was really on Dell. Like yeah. well, he was, oh guys, we can go to uh, an after party, the four of us or something like that. And yeah, he was really emphatic and we were like, oh, that's, that's nice. But we also, I mean, it was, it was our first time in KitKat, so we wanted to embrace it mm -hmm. at its fullest. So and he, <laughs> he gave you his card. Yeah, I still have it as like a memory. So he's there. I think yeah. the guy was born there and will die there. So yeah, we kept uh, exploring the basement and that day was only open one dance floor because there's two, so we dance a bit, but eventually we, we, we stuck to the, to the main dance floor. Yeah, because downstairs sometimes it's a bit more like disco music, or it's like a bit like more like, kind of like an eclectic kind yes. of like music vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's not, normally it's not techno downstairs. No, 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 no. 
So yeah, we went upstairs, but the good thing is that you have both uh, ambience, you know, mm -hmm. like, so if yeah. you are bored of the main dance floor, you can go always downstairs, see the guy doing his show. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes, we went back upstairs and it was like really nice techno playing. Uh, so we started to dance. It was amazing to dance and also see like the people on the pole dances. So it's like two uh, stages at each end of the dance floor. I of course went at some point dance on the pole dance because I love to be on the stage with people watching me when I'm uh, dancing. I really loved it. It was really hot to do that. And again, you could see people fucking everywhere. a bit everywhere. <laughs> it's like really like, it's just everywhere because the dance floor is surrounded by spaces with beds, couches, so it's really easy uh, to find spaces to fuck. Also like a cage, so people were fucking in the cage. It was amazing to see so much sex. It was way more sex uh, oriented than perceptual for sure. So I feel like people were way more respectful and also the crowd was more mature. Yeah. Which I liked. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think it was 8 a.m. and we decided to go back home. It was about time. We danced a lot. We danced a lot. <laughs> At home I just see Del, Del's ass completely with marks, you know, because of the dumb. The dumb whip. work. I mean, like, <laughs> wow, it looked like, fuck, it looked like painful, you know. And, and I told her, like, you're gonna get so many bruises because she gets bruised quite easily. <laughs> And yeah, it happened. I mean, <laughs> the next morning I wake up. I even took a picture because I was like, I love to have marks actually because it's like a nice, nice memory of uh, this kind of BDSM thing. Uh, so I was like, just amazed. Like, and I, I just by seeing it, I just was remembering the night. So it was amazing to to have that little memory of that first night in Kit Kat. Have you heard about Kit Kats? Have you been, or would you like to go? Do you have any sexy stories that happen at Kit Kat? Let us know below in the comments mm -hmm. and we see you next week for another video. And maybe see you at Kit Kat. And maybe see you at Kit Kat. <laughs> Bye.